The Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Doug, it's that time of year we're getting really close to harvest. Super close. Uh, across uh, parts of Ontario, we do have some good corn. We've got some average corn and we've got some marginally good corn. Um, guys want to estimate their yield. Mm -hmm. Let's walk through that process of trying to, as accurately as possible, guess our yield. So that that's very true, Sean. So the, the, the thing is, is be accurate as, as possible. And because of our rainfall and our sporadic rains this year, we uh, sometimes it varies a lot, even in fields. So we want to do a really good representative sample of what we're looking at. So the, the key is not just to go into one area of the field and look at it, or the best area of the field. We always get drawn to the best area of the field. Take or a the walk, worst. Or the worst. <laughs> so take take a, a walk through the field and get good representative samples. So measuring a yield is it's it's relatively simple, uh, but it, it is time consuming if you're going to do it the proper way. The first thing you want to do is you want to walk into the field and you want to you want to measure off one one thousandths of an acre. So uh, in this case, we have thirty inch rows. So one one thousandths of an acre is seventeen and a half feet. So we'll measure off seventeen and a half feet. Uh, you don't have to be perfectly accurate. You don't have to take that tape measure. Once you've done it a few times, you can pace off seventeen and a half feet and We're get pretty close. In We're general. estimating in general. So you take off. Uh, one one thousandths of an acre in this case 17 and a half feet and we're going to go in and we're going to count how many harvestable ears are in that okay so typically if you're planting 32,000 population okay um, per per acre well you're going to have one one thousandths of that in that in that row okay so we're going to look at that but you want to make sure that you've got harvestable ears on all the plants for sure you count that number of ears and then every fifth year or so, we're going to, we're going to, uh, there's one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to huss that back and we're going to count the number of kernel rows on here. So the number of kernel rows, so it's always going to be even, of course. Every fifth plant or so, pull, pull an ear or take, just huss back the ear if you're in the field and, uh, and what you want to do is you want to count the number of kernel rows okay so in this case we're going to start here you're always going to have an even number of rows remember that so we've got two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty we've got twenty rows kernel rows on this on this particular ear now what you want to do is count the number of kernels average number of kernels in the row so we're going to count and I always leave these at the end so we want to count start up at about here where the rows get nice and even and we're going to count the number of kernels so we're going to count along here and I'm going to call this 30 long I'm not going to count any of this these end kernels here they're going to be our bonus they're going to be our our, if we uh, get them, we get them. As, as factor. We're going to get them, but it's not going to determine this much. Again, this is just estimating as close as possible. And when you turn it over, we see that we've got a bit of bird damage here in the plot. And so birds have come in and picked it out. So I'm pretty close at saying 30 long. I'm going to eliminate this end here. So we got 30 long by 20. So really what you want to do when you measure your yield is take the number of harvestable ears okay in one one thousandths of an acre so say we've got 32 harvestable ears in there everything was good and we're going to multiply that by 20 around and multiply that by 30 long and then you divide that by 90 that will give you your estimated bushels per acre yield now i always like to take 90 percent of that as a, as an insurance factor because again we're going to have some areas in the field that maybe not as high and so on. The key is to do a good representative walk in your field, get good representative samples. You're probably going to want to walk across in a diagonal pattern or How a Z pattern. To to average it out? I would say you need to do it a, uh, a couple of times in an acre, you know, and then and and when you go across the field, maybe you spread that out. If you're getting a pretty even field, you can spread that out. 
but I like to have, you know, take a pad with your uh, or something to mark it down. But I like to have 10 to 20 different looks at it in the field, and you can get pretty accurate. Um, so many times, guys will come in and say, you know, estimate my yield for me, and they'll be drawn again to that that good area of the field or the worst area of the field. And generally, it's a good area of field where the grower wants to show a guy, okay, this is what I got. So he does the estimate and he comes up with 130 bushels per acre, okay? If you walk long enough and you, you start finding different things, and of course, again, you've got your headlands that we're not really looking at and they're not going to attribute to that much of the field. That's why we keep these off of the ends because that's going to give us a little bit of uh, a slip factor there. So in this case, I'm going to use my other old-fashioned calculator because okay, it's quicker. So we got the calculator out. So we got the calculator out and we said that there was 32 plants Plants, and we're going to do, times that by 20, 20 by, and then by 30, right? By 30 in this case. And then we're going to divide that by 90 as our factor. Yep. And the reason we use 90 is there's 90,000 kernels in a bushel of corn average so we're going to use 90 as our factor cool. so that estimates at 213 bushels per acre hey now we'll be hey now that. right so if we had every every ear at 32,000 of these ears and everything's chugging along this should estimate out at 213 bushels per acre now, i'm going to take 90 no, percent shouldn't, shouldn't just walk out of the field and with this one check though we should be doing this no a couple we times. we're going to do this we're going to assume I've done this 20 times across a 100 acre field and I've got a good representative sample and this is my average. And this okay. doesn't mean that you should forward contract all the way up to 213 bushels. Absolutely not. So that's why I'm going to use 90% of that. So if we take 213 and we're going to go times 90% of that, that's 192. And so I'm, I'm pretty comfortable that I've gone across this field, got good representative samples of my ears, and this is a this is good. I've recorded everything in my book. I've got 192 bushels per acre. Now, if you're going to look at marketing it, and your crop insurance average is 180, then you're going to want to market it to your crop insurance average. Don't market the whole thing. It just is a is a word that I I'm a firm believer that if you're crop insured to that and you're comfortable with that level doing this estimate we can we can go to our crop insurance uh, average and maybe slightly under that if you're comfortable doing that and uh, have a good market the key is be consistent in what you're doing and get good representative samples you can't just walk in like we just did and estimate it pull one ear off and say okay this is what I got you've got to get a lot of samples and and I, uh, I would recommend at least 20 and even more if you've got the time to do it. And the, the more you do it, the more accurate you're going to be. That's all.